So nevertheless, there are several polls pointing to the fact that younger people in particular aren't very interested in the coronation at all. And I take your point that the day before people suddenly get interested. And certainly there was an enormous outswelling of sympathy and uh, adoration for, for the Queen at her funeral. Um, but Britain's in a weird place. You alluded to the, um, did you see her now she's gone, Liz Truss, Prime Minister. There's been three Prime Ministers in six months. There's endless strikes in Britain across various industries, doctors and nurses striking. Um, is this, does this feel something that Britain needs right now or does it feel out of keeping with the times? Well to be honest I mean the only one of the few things that seems to be working properly is is actually the monarchy and the transition to uh, between the reigns I mean that's what people are kind of surprised about I think you know when the I certainly predicted that when the Queen died you'd have this extraordinarily destabilized moment uh, you know, as regards to the monarchy. But actually, because Charles has been so sure-footed, that doesn't seem to have happened. And all of the kind of volatility and chaos has always has, has all been directed uh, in uh, the political class. So that, in fact, it reminds people that to have a head of state who is not partisan, who is not from one side or the other, who actually can unite people uh, without politics being involved, has in fact proved, uh, I think, uh, very, very useful at this particular moment in national life. It's certainly true that the younger generation are less and less interested in monarchy, um, but they're not hostile to it particularly. I mean, you know, the polls don't show that there's a great, uh, the uh, irony is, is that, you know, a lot of people are bored by Charles or don't think Camilla should be queen. But, you know, the fact is, is that the monarchy itself is in very good uh, standing with the British people. So perhaps it doesn't really matter frankly, that the younger generation are not that engaged. Maybe they really weren't anyway ever before Diana, because Diana was the rock star who sort of brought the young into the monarchy, essentially, you know, who who made everybody incited and engaged with what was happening with the monarchy. I don't think that young people were probably at all interested in the boring old trout-faced, you know, Queen Mary or, or you know, the George VI and, and the Queen were... You know, it was the war, so everybody was very patriotic. But I don't think that young people were hanging on, you know, the words of them particularly. So it may as well just be that actually young people are not that interested in monarchy and never have been, unless it happens to be someone as exciting as Princess Diana.